How's it going, friends? Sean Don coming back with a technical analysis. Here we have Nathan Markham, um, <clears throat> Division Three Hammer Thrower out of good old Wilmington College, OAC represent. Um, I've done a little bit of work for for them um, before. You know, friend of the, the coach Tristan competing against him in college. And uh, like I said, love the OAC, love D3 throws, especially the hammer throwers. So let's take a look. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I've, I've seen Nathan throw before, I've done a DA on him before. And, uh, yeah, pretty solid. He threw the hammer, but he really wanted the shot behind Pretty solid. So yeah, so one thing I, I saw before was that your upper body was pretty long and relaxed, which is good. And the big thing you needed to fix is getting your hips and right leg a little bit more into the throw to stabilize, you know, your body. And this, based on your path through the circle, as so you can see, is kind of down this what would be right sector line, is a sign that you're doing that better. Um, so we're gonna take one more look at it and then get into breaking it down. <laughs> yeah, pretty solid. Even a good finish. I like how in the finish you come through here and then this left foot kind of comes over and almost replaces where the right foot is. That means that you're countering the ball properly in the finish. I mean, yeah, you could be a little bit like some people think if you stick your feet perfectly, you know, it's pretty and definitely is a sign that you're balanced but I like to see just a little bit of like I said that that left foot drag over to where the right foot is I think those are in my opinion my best throws or at least some of my best feeling throws <clears throat> though some people may disagree with me I don't know if that's their opinion but I like that so um yeah wines were pretty solid before <clears throat> like I said you're super long and relaxed with the upper body you do a good job turning back to the right <clears throat> Pretty solid here. Nice and chill, stepping up, setting things up, stepping out, getting over the right side to get to then set up the left side. So <clears throat> this is where things still could be improved a little bit. The left side is nice and solid, left shoulder, hip, knee, foot, ankle, all that stuff more or less in line. But I still want to see this right foot getting a little bit more into it. As you can see, watch this right knee right here. And then watch it over the next, I don't know, 10 frames or so. So let's see, keep my mouse where it is. And you can see the knee shift right through here. You can see the knee kind of shift away and forward as the ball goes left. All right, ideally, you want to see that knee be stiff. So like it's in this position. You don't want it to come forwards at all, okay? And then, but at the same time, you also want it to turn more with, as I said in the previous video, turn this right femur with sort of, uh, it's not gonna be perfect, but <clears throat> you want this right femur, femur to almost chase the hammer wire or your hands or whatever you wanna think about. You want this right femur, right femur to kind of be in line with the whole upper body thing, um, triangle, if you will. And then, so you want this right leg to turn a little bit more, because as you can see, this left leg also opens up a little bit earlier, and like I said, this right knee comes forward, and then you're missing just a little bit of direction in this first turn, so you see, once again, you can see where your body is when the ball's at zero, centered, 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 like I said, right knee just needs to do more, but then as the ball goes left, still centered, but then as the ball goes through 180, you can see now the body is a little bit more over this left side. Not a terrible thing, but there's just a little bit of what I like to call spinning out, where like you're kind of getting pulled around the left side a little bit, and you can see the hips are the biggest thing. So once again, hips here, centered, they go over to the right, and then you can see the hips come way over to the left. There's a lot of left and right movement instead of being in the center. Um, and that's just a little bit of sign of disconnection. And like I said, if you had a little bit more direction in this first turn as well, so like I said, a stiffer right knee, this right knee needs to be pushing back. So as ball goes through zero, right knee needs to be pushing back. You almost want to be leaning backwards a little bit uh, as the ball goes through zero uh, or sitting the hips back through zero. You just need a little bit of direction towards 180. 
Um, unfortunately, it's hard to show because this is a 2D thing, but 3D, you need to go backwards towards 180 as the ball goes through zero. Just a little bit to set up direction. That prevents this sort of spinning out that I'm talking about right here. And then you catch and you have much more connection throughout the rest of the throw, so things are going to get smoother from there. So, um, otherwise, you catch nice and early. Uh, left shoulder eh, is fine. Hips are more or less underneath you. Right hip could be a little bit more underneath you. Could have a little bit more separation uh, between the upper and lower body, but not a big deal. Um, yeah, and then it's interesting to see, once again, you kind of catch on this right foot, and then it just kind of stays still. And you can see most of the movement coming from this left side. You see the left heel, left knee, left hip, left shoulder doing a lot of movement here, whereas the right side is not doing much. And you can see this tilt in the shoulders, left shoulder up, right shoulder down, left hip up, left or uh, right hip down. Um, I'd kind of like to see that a little bit more level at the very least. So keep this left shoulder down, keep this left knee bent, because like I said, you can see as soon as this, you come down to single or double support, you can see this left leg start to straighten out really right through here. All of this just goes up and back. So you're doing the right thing, but the timing's just a little bit off, and you don't quite have that connection with the right leg to keep full body connection. So this left side's kind of taken over a little bit. And then this is getting better. Like I said, right hip's getting up into the throw a little bit more, but still needs to be more. So as the hammer goes left, drive that hip to your hands, that right hip to the hands or right hip to the high point, and almost think about leaning backwards. So shoulders a little bit more back, hips a little bit more forwards. And while, yes, you'll feel off balance, you'll be more in the center. The ball will pull you into balance if you are connected, and then you'll be much more efficient. Um, and you catch. And once again, super deep. Shoulders level here, which is great. Hips decent once again. But then same sort of thing. You can see most of the tension coming through that left side and you're going to see this tilt get more uh, kind of drastic. So not only are your t shoulders tilted here down to the left counterclockwise slight tilt, um, counterclockwise slight tilt at the hips, then you can see also your whole body is kind of counterclockwise tilted um, and you're being a little, you're going to be a little bit heavy on the right. And then you can see this right left side tighten up just a little bit right side tighten up just a little bit as you can see you're kind of shrugging up towards the shoulders instead of letting those shoulders go long out forwards but you're doing a better job of getting so this movement here pretty solid but this left shoulder yeah that's okay never mind you do a better job at the end of double support for sure um getting that right hip up into the throw you just need to do it um a little sooner and just be a little bit more connected like I said, your shoulders just have this weird sort of tilt to them. you got to relax the shoulders and turn that left shoulder down just a bit. Catch, super deep. This throw kind of reminds me of Nick Miller, honestly. Maybe that's a technical model you might want to use. Uh, a little sip of coffee. Um, shoulders, left shoulder high, once again, that's going to probably indicate the same thing. So that's... That's more what I want to see more of. So as you can see, you catch, and you see this right leg really getting into it. This is what I this is I, this is good. This is good. This is good. I like this. So right foot working, left leg straightens out a little bit, but then you can really see this right leg. Look look how the hammer hands everything goes by, and that right femur goes right with it. Boom! I love that. I love that. Still left shoulder's a little bit, or left left leg's a little bit too straight, left side's doing just a little bit too much, but this is what I'm talking about. That's what I want to see earlier on in the throw. So you're doing it in three pretty good, um, but because that left leg's a little too straight, you can see about here, if that right knee wasn't there, this left leg is almost straight. And because of that, you can see this right leg come a little bit wide around the left. And then you catch, and you can see your right leg's a little bit too forwards instead of underneath you. That right hip needs to be underneath you. But then you settle back over this left side. So this is also your best catch, I think, in terms of position um, and efficiency. So you see, like, left shoulder, hips right underneath you. 
and then because that right leg's a little bit far out, it kind of gives you, yeah, yeah. So you can see that right leg is a little bit too far forwards. It needs to be a little bit more underneath you. And that's why, like, as you come through in the release, your hips are getting super up into the throw, um, which is great. But then you're going to see this right foot come back towards the back of the circle because it is a little bit too far forwards. And then left foot, like I said, I like that because you, you are centered over the right just a little bit more than the left which is dope so like i said man that third turn let's go back to it let's see where do we go this this just this needs to be every turn but like i said with a little bit more bent left leg and we'll chill out that left side just a little bit but this right leg this right side you need to do that in every turn and that's going to be special so yeah man um pretty solid improvements from the last time i saw you so yeah, good job. Um, keep working on it. Like I said, you need to just get that right side turning with the hammer a little bit more. And then I, I, I think the big thing to work on also is this direction in entry. Like I said, you just need to get that little bit of that backwards direction towards 180 right through here. And that'll help direction out a lot. That'll help you feel that right side working a little bit more. Like I said, don't let that right knee collapse forwards in entry. That's kind of what kills a lot of direction. And then makes that kind of... Uh, left side kind of take over a little bit in the first two turns so yeah nice job cool let me know if you have any questions happy to help um if anybody else out there would like a technical analysis go to sean nope still once again website working on it this week next week that's the goal um dm me on instagram sd throws comment down below email me at donley 757 at gmail.com and uh hit me up for technical analysis any coaching programs throwing lifting all three all whatever you need i can do it happy to help so thanks for watching sean Don. peace and out until next time